The topic for this video is how parasite biotoxins can trigger disease. Parasites not only cause inflammation as our immune system defends our body, but the biotoxins they produce can also have a major impact on our metabolism. That is how our body runs or operates. Chronic inflammation and abnormal metabolism caused by the parasites and their toxins can exist in our body for years and can lead to an ever-growing list of symptoms, disease, disability, and even early death. So it's not just the action of our immune system attacking the parasite that causes all of our symptoms, but also the impact of their biotoxins that can change the way our body functions, which can lead to a host of additional symptoms. Over 30 years ago, Dr. Crook, Dr. Truss, Dr. Luke DeShepper, and Dr. Rona believed that candida and other fungi were the main parasites that caused multiple sclerosis and other diseases because chronic fungal infections were present in their patients that suffered with MS and other diseases and because it was known that the toxins produced by fungi are some of the most toxic substances in the world. With advance in science, it is now becoming clear that many other types of parasites trigger disease. Bacteria, single cell parasites, or protists, and worms. If you would like to review research on the types of parasite infections linked with MS, visit our webpage, Evidence That MS is an Infectious Disease on LiveDiseaseFree.com. There is a large and ever-growing body of scientific evidence that shows that people who have multiple sclerosis and other chronic diseases are in a state of dysbiosis. They have too many disease-causing microbes and not enough health-promoting microbes. I have shared many of these studies on our Live Disease Free blog and our Live Disease Free YouTube channel. Changes in the microbes that live in the body are linked with diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular disease, inflammatory bowel diseases, and many other diseases like MS. The production of parasite metabolites and biotoxins have been shown to significantly impact my metabolism by affecting gut permeability and immune function, and their presence can be used to predict the risk of disease. One study found that high levels of three specific bacterial biotoxins in the spinal fluid and plasma of MS patients, but not in healthy people, that exposure to these toxins really impaired the firing rate of nerve cells. Dr. Shoemaker of Surviving Mold has studied mold for years, but more recently has studied other parasites, and he's gained valuable insights into how biotoxins from mold, the vector-borne infections that cause Lyme disease, and other parasites that cause inflammatory state in the body, he calls it chronic inflammatory response syndrome, or SIRS, C-I-R-S. Research shows that various parasites and their biotoxins cause SIRS, including different types of mold like Stachybotrys, Penicillium, Aspergillus, and other types of mold and the toxins they produce. Also, bacteria like Actinomyces, Mycobacteria, Cyanobacteria, Borrelia, and their biotoxins can also be involved in ca causing chronic inflammation, impaired metabolism, and a variety of symptoms. Understanding how the biotoxins of parasites impact metabolism is a new scientific frontier. How illness is triggered? Most people who suffer with diseases like MS have overused antibiotics in the past, often as a child. Taking antibiotics for things like tonsillitis, bronchitis, bladder, ear infection, surgeries, or acne devastates our natural defense, our health-promoting microbes that control the disease-causing microbes or disease-causing parasites. When the health-promoting microbes are diminished in numbers, they can no longer defend us against parasites. We are then vulnerable to whatever parasites we are exposed to in our environment.
And over several years, the parasites become more populated in our body. They move to different tissues and organs. And things like our poor lifestyle habits, high stress, lack of sleep, and lack of activity, eating a lot of processed carbs and a lack of nutrition, and the use of hormones and other medications and environmental toxins, such as the biotoxins from parasites, but also radiation and heavy metals, they all further weaken our immune system, which allows the parasites to flourish and produce more biotoxins. Dr. Shoemaker and Dr. Klinghardt and others have warned for years about the impact of a moldy home and workplace on our health. Molds, but also now bacteria such as actinomyces and mycobacterium from water damaged buildings produce biotoxins that promote inflammation and impair metabolism. If you suspect water damage in your home or your workplace, it's very important that you have this tested and remediated properly. Dr. Shoemaker re recommends a couple of tests, the ERMI test, E-R-M-I, and the Hertz-Me-2 test, H-E-R-T-S-M-I-2 test, if you suspect mold in your home or your work environment. He also recommends a third test to test for actinomyces. Dr. Shoemaker shares research about how the poisons produced by certain parasites can disrupt production of certain proteins that are important for mitochondria to produce energy for us. With mitochondrial dysfunction, less energy is produced and that can result in fatigue. The impaired mitochondrial dysfunction can result in an increased production of lactic acid in the cells, which spills into our blood vessels and can lead to metabolic acidosis. It is interesting that research shows that lactic acid is elevated in the blood of MS patients. One study found lactic acid was 2.8 times higher in the blood of MS patients when compared to healthy people. And the greater the amount of lactic acid found in the blood of MS patients, the greater the disability. High levels of lactic acid in the blood can cause exhaustion, extreme fatigue, muscle cramps or pain, body weakness, overall feelings of physical discomfort, abdominal pain, discomfort, diarrhea, decrease in appetite, headache, and fast heart rate. Leukodystrophy is just one of the neurological diseases that is often misdiagnosed with multiple sclerosis. With leukodystrophy, there is also a buildup of lactic acid in the central nervous system, and these patients have symptoms that are very similar to multiple sclerosis. Dr. Shoemaker also shares research about how biotoxins can also impact blood pressure and the suppression of immune modulating cells. Standard tests for inflammation and parasites are poor. More often than not, normal test results are reported in people who suffer with inflammation and parasitic infestations. Currently, many practitioners are using energy testing to determine which are the most effective treatments for the parasites and which binders are also helpful for the biotoxins. The study on how parasites and their biotoxins, how they cause inflammation and abnormal metabolism is a heavily researched field in science today. So how do we recover from parasites and the toxins that cause disease? To recover is not enough to treat the parasites. Most of us have suffered with these infections, inflammation and impaired metabolism for years. If we want to have the highest level of health, we have to use a holistic approach that supports immune modulation, optimal metabolism and physiology and immune function while treating various parasites. This can be very daunting and expensive process if we don't know what we need to recover and live a healthy life. I believe that learning how to play an active role in reclaiming our health is one of the most important skills that we can have. It will help us to save tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars over our lifetime. But most importantly, learning how to take charge of your health is really the best way to reach your health goals, and to get your health and your life back and be happy again.
There are real solutions for multiple sclerosis today. Learn more about the Live Disease Free program by watching my free web class. The link is in the description of this video and on our website, livediseasefree.com. Please like and share this video to help us get the word out and share this life-changing information with others. And make sure to hit the notification bell to subscribe so that you will be notified when I release the next training video. And we want to hear from you. We want to hear what you think. So please put your comments in the comment section and we will answer them. We look forward to knowing what you think about this topic. Take care and bye-bye for now.